Well, good morning, church. How are you? It's always good to have fellowship here with you in Tollybaggy Elam. I don't know how many, 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 many your stars have been coming here. You know, way, way, way before my time and my involvement with Starus. You know, but to say we just we really thank you for your support prayerfully and financially to the work of Stars over so many years. You know, and we pray that we can keep that connection with you as, as time goes by. You know, Pastor Denver mentioned there about the soup lunch. I don't know why that's what attracts you here this morning or why it's because stars are here. But the kids are coming for the soup lunch. That's why they're here today. And I heard Pamela saying to my son-in-law, he doesn't let them have to make any lunch today. You'll get lunch down there. So it's good to be able to do that. But it's really, really good, is there? Is there anybody here that's never heard of stars before? Probably not. I think talking to the converted, you all, you all know what stars is about and what we do. So I thought, instead of giving an update on the work as such, I'll give a wee up date of our vision of where we see ourselves in the future rather than go back, back the way but really just to, I suppose to say 2019 has been a difficult year for stars would be an understatement it would be an understatement as most if not all of you know you know Arthur Williams who was the founder and general director of Stars Foundation he was called home to be with the Lord on the 23rd of May or 21st of May I think it was 21st the funeral was the 23rd on the 21st of May, you know, when Arthur had been diagnosed with a heart failure and with pancreatic cancer in the latter part of 2018. And, you know, it's really good to have his wife Beth here with us today and his son David and his daughter and all this set. You know, most of you here know, you know, no one could be in any doubt about the fervent faith that Arthur held. We could never be in any doubt the devotion that he had to the Lord. And all what he'd done and all that he'd done. And it was during Arthur's time as a pastor at Finley Memorial Church back in Glasgow in 1980 that Stars Foundation became, became into existence. You know, and, and we're so thankful. You know, next year, God spares us, Stars will be 40 years in ministry. 40 years. And we praise God for his provision and his favor upon us for them 40 years. And when we moved in their new premises, the straight hovering there, up at Nuts Corner, our prayer with staff, and we met the staff in our prayer when we were praying, and we were praying that God would bless us with another hundred years of mission in that place. That, that place could be used for at least another hundred years for God's favour. You know, so we keep, we keep praying, we keep praying. You know, but it was because of Arthur's vision, really, and Arthur's energy, but more important, importantly, it was Arthur's obedience to God. Arthur was obedient to God. And because of his faithfulness and commitment and hard work, Stars not only got off the ground, but he propelled Stars to where we are today. And we know it's God's favour upon us, but Arthur put in the hard yards, as we would say many years ago, and we are where we are today because of him. And we're thankful for that. I just really want to share, well, where are we today? When we say that, where are Stars today? You know, Stars are still doing the same as we've done that was birthed in Arthur's heart 40 years ago. Our heart is for people with addiction. Our heart is for hurting people. People that maybe society would cast aside. People maybe where people think there's no hope for them in this hopeless world. And that is our hearts as staff and as workers. That's the people that God has called us to. That is the love, the people that we have that love for. We have that tenderness for. Because we've, we've been there, I've been there myself. I've been in that hopeless situation where I thought there was no hope for me. But yet somebody came and shared the love of Christ with me. Somebody came and gave me that hope. And that changed my life around. And that's what we want to do within stars. That's what we keep doing within stars. We've done it for 40 years. And for as long as God will keep his favour upon us, we'll keep doing that. We believe it's God's ministry. It's what he's birthed in us. And some of our prayers is that God would raise up more men and women to do the ministry. So it's not a job career. It's a calling. It's a calling where faith mission, if our staff get paid, they get paid. If they don't, they don't. But they'll never do it for the money even if we do get paid. It's for the love of people. It's to see people set free. And that's what the ministry is about. So what do we see as our future? What is our vision for the future? And that's part of our vision, that God will raise up a next generation not just the full-time workers or part-time workers. At the minute, we have nine full-time staff. We have three volunteers and we have two part-time staff. 
And we praise God for that. And we pray that he raise up more, but not just workers, but we pray that he raise up more people to get behind us prayerfully. Because we can't do what we do without people being behind us in prayer. People's prayer and their finances frees us up to do the ministry that we do. That we don't have to worry about that. I mean, no. And Cully Baggy Eden's faithfulness to us and that for over so many years has really been beneficial to us. And we mean that. We appreciate that. We don't take anything for granted. We appreciate that. Our new premises, we moved five years ago to our new place at, at Nuts Corner at Crumlin. You know, so you have known about that for the last five years and we've always been asking for a prayer for it. And we believe that God has brought the right people across our path in planners and in builders. We've had builders, we've had plans to up, we've all that in place. And God willing, we're there are five years next April. And that was our vision at that time that within five years we'll start to work. And we believe that God has led us to that and it'll start in his time next year. So you can pray for that. Pray for it. We believe that, as I say, that we believe that we have the people across our path now that God wants to do that. Pray also for ministry in the families. It's often been said that it's not just the addict that suffers, it's the family, and particularly children. And we've God's been opening doors over the last few years where we've had input in the families. When we see the husband or the wife come to faith, it doesn't just stop there, but God goes right into the family. And it's bringing family together. It's letting people see, maybe a husband seeing for the first time his role in a family as a husband or as a father or whatever. So, you know, we're not just there for the addict, but we're there for the families of the addict. And that ministry has been growing over the last few years. So keep praying for it, that God brings the people across our path. And pray for my wife, Pamela. Pamela does couple counselling as well for couples and, and, and marriage preparation and stuff like that. So pray for that. Because God will restore that too. You know, we so, so much to thank God for. You know, we, so when we see God move in a family, he just doesn't stop there. He breaks the chains of bondage. You know, people become conditioned to believe that that's the way they're going to be the rest of their lives. But yet when God steps in there and he breaks that, it's a generational thing that the kids will not see what the kids before seen. And God will break that. And we've opportunity to minister in the families for the long term the future, not just to pick up the pieces at the end, but maybe to stop the things from happening in people's families, warning them of the dangers of the addiction, the dangers of alcohol and stuff in the family. So we've had opportunity to do that. So that's, that's more our vision. You know, and more importantly, we want to give thanks to God for his provision over the last 40 years. You know, we can truly testify to the truth that you'll read in Psalm 32 and verse 8, where it says, I will instruct you and teach you in the way you should go. I will counsel you with my eye upon you. You know, Jehovah Jireh, meaning that the Lord will provide. And within the ministry of stars, we can testify to God's provision for us in many ways. In many ways. And we do never take it for granted. We never take it for granted. As I say, we're faith mission, and we're faith every month for so much money. And do you know what? It's great. It's great. Because it's good for your prayer life. It keeps you on your knees keeps you being mindful of what God provides. So sometimes we forget and we take it for granted because we have it and we never miss it sort of thing. We think it's always going to be there. It's good to be in faith. I don't think even if somebody came today and says, Roy, we'll pay everything for you. I don't think we'd want that. Because that takes God out of it. We want to be in faith every month for a certain amount. So praise God for it. But I just want to finish, you know, pray for us. Pray that Arthur's legacy of stars with, with God's blessing will continue to change lives that it will continue to change and change and move people's lives, change people and move them further. And that's our prayer.